And dear colleagues and friends, welcome to today's interview on electromagnetic interference on patients with pacemaker and ICD. My name is Bülent Görnek from Eskişehir, Eskişehir Osman Gazi University, Turkey. Now today we will discuss this important topic with two experts, Professor uh, Christophe Lurek from uh, Rennes, uh, France and Professor Haram Buri uh, from uh, Genoa, uh, Switzerland. Can we start with you? What is the effect of electromagnetic uh, interference on patients with pacemaker and ICD? So in fact, electromagnetic interferences can affect pacemakers and ICDs in several f uh, f in different manners. First of all, the signals that are admitted by EMI are seen by the devices and this, as regards pacemakers, can inhibit their pacing. And this is actually potentially lethal in a pacemaker-dependent uh, patient. Secondly, the EMI is seen by the device and this can actually lead to a mode which is called noise reversion where the pacemaker paces in an asynchronous mode and it may actually pace on the T-wave and trigger off ventricular arrhythmias. As regards uh, ICDs or defibrillators, in fact, the EMI can be seen by the device and it's interpreted as being a ventricular arrhythmia yeah. and it can then trigger off an inappropriate shock. So that's regarding the signals. And secondly, you also have a possible magnetic effect, which is also part of electromagnetic interference. This can affect pacemakers by asynchronous pacing and regarding defibrillators, it can temporarily inactivate ICD therapy, which is also potentially life-threatening. Thank you very much. And Christopher, may I ask you a question about uh, common household appliance? Do manufacturers recommend any special precaution uh, when uh, using a normally functioning uh, common household applicants like uh, microwave ovens, televisions, radios, toasters and so on? Yes, there is some recommendation, but first I would like to say that uh, in the daily life, there, is, there are very, very few cases of electrical magnetic interferences with our household appliance. I think that the patient can be very safe uh, with all these devices. Of course, in some cases, you have to be not very close, especially with uh, in induction Owen or something like that. But for microwave Owen or all the other uh, appliances, uh, still like refrigerators, there is absolutely no risk if uh, the appliance is working well. So I think that the key message is that we can tell to the patient that they are safe in the kitchen with their household appliance and their devices. And what about cellular phones, Haran? Uh, do cellular phones cause interference uh, with permanent pacemakers and ICD and also it's CRT? Well, <clears throat> actually this is a, a very common issue because almost all our patients with pacemakers and ICDs have cellular phones. And there have been published data dating back to 15 and to 20 years which show that there is electromagnetic interference between cell phones and pacemakers and ICDs. But this was actually before the era of modern devices which have uh, special filters which very effectively filter out this EMI. Okay? Sure. And also yeah. with uh, new cell phones with the new bandwidths which have much lower emission power compared to the older cell phones. So, Currently, I personally believe that the risk of EMI between cell phones and pacemakers and ICDs is extremely low. And to support this, we have data uh, published since about 15 years, the overwhelming uh, number of which really indicates towards a very low risk of interferences. So overall, I think what we can say in our recommendations to, pa to patients is that the risk is very low and that the recommendation to hold the cell phone at least 15 centimeters away is not really uh, that applicable nowadays. Thank you very much, Haran. I think to finish, uh, I can say that uh, although today's pacemakers are less susceptible uh, to interference with the older one, electromagnetic energy uh, can interference in some cases, but the risk is uh, not so big, I think. And uh, we can reduce the risk uh, with uh, caution. Thank you very much, uh, Haran. Thank you very much, uh, Christophe, and have a good Thank day. You. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you.